Good morning and welcome to Supercars of London. I hope you had a good weekend and I hope you enjoyed yesterday's video of the engine coming out of the Lamborghini. Today is Monday and I'm hoping that I can put this video live on Monday as well. It all depends on what happens today. Now that the engine is back in to the hole that it came out of, Barry is gonna be putting everything back together, attaching everything back to the engine, making sure that it was as he dragged it out. Once that happens, if I remember correctly, then the Armitrix Titanium back box is gonna be fitted onto the engine and then everything else can get put back together. So whether I hear the car for the first time today or not, I have been waiting all weekend for today, hoping that today is the day that I get to hear the car and the exhaust system for the first time. So we've got a Ferrari lineup looking nice with the beast. That's actually horrendous parking. I'm embarrassed about that. I am going to change that. So let's go in and check out the progress. I'm just going to point the camera at Josh. This is looking, looking, looking promising with the old whatever you're doing with it. Ratchet. Ratchet. What's on today's checklist, Barry? Finish. Finish? Finish the job? Oh, my God. <laughs> I, wasn't, I, wasn't, I wasn't expecting it to be finished today. I, I was hoping that we could get a start up, but a finish would be good. We've got all of this that is resting in front of the F40. This all needs to go back. Do you remember where all of this goes, Barry? No. <laughs> Barry has spotted a Skoda badge. Oh, am I going to have to... Here, here. Is it better there? So for those intrigued as to how much Audi or VAG Group is incorporated into Lamborghini now, let it focus. We've got Audi, VW, Seat and Skoda. So on that particular part, is that what it fits onto? Possibly fit on other models. It will possibly fit on other models. So I've got a, a Skoda and a Seat part. What part is it? Drive shaft. Drive shaft on the Gallardo. Let's get this on the vlog. Which circular hole down there? In there, all of that. And that's the wiring from what? The fuse board, relays, uh, gearbox ECU. And it all goes into, there's the hole, there. Huh? What do you mean? Well, you put it on the car, like, just rest it in there, the bolts hold it up, so it's there with the pipes on it. Yeah. Well, we can just do that. Sure, we can just do that picture when it's fitted. Well, before the heat shield goes on it, or does the heat shield go on? When the heat shield goes on it, then we put it on. Oh, okay. so I'm saying if I put it on, like we put the end pipes on. Yeah. And then we can press it on. Okay. So get, a picture, right? get a good picture. Yeah. Here we go. The back box is going on. Normally, the heat shield. Where does the heat shield go in this bit? Be behind it. All over it. It's All over it. Oh, okay. We're just gonna get some get some pictures like this to make it look super cool. It's getting there, getting there. Barry, do you think we're gonna hear the car before 3 p.m.? Possibly. 3 p.m. is the deadline for me to go and edit the video so that I can get it live for 5 p.m. This is gonna be tight. So the time is. 10 to 3. It is getting really tight because I need to obviously edit this video which takes about half an hour and upload it which can take up to half an hour which leaves me with an hour. I normally like to give myself about half an hour or so in case anything goes wrong so I would try and edit a video before 3 o'clock so that it can go live at 5pm. However, 
I need to check with how Barry's getting on downstairs whether we can get a start-up at all in this video because that would obviously be the dream that we can at least hear it or begin to hear it in this video moving on to tomorrow's video where everything gets put back onto the car and it gets ready to be driven for a first road test. So let's head downstairs and catch up with Barry and fingers crossed we can get a start up in this video because that is what I'm hoping for. It is very dark, but I'm hoping that we can get some sort of start up in this video. You don't know how excited I am and how much I'm anticipating this as much as you guys. Oh, the heat shield is on. The heat shield is on, the exhaust is on. We have some news. I'm running up the stairs because I'm going to show you the clock. This is the current time. At quarter past three, Barry says there is going to be a startup of my car. So what I plan on doing is filming that and then ending the video so that I can get this video live at 5 p.m. and then I'll carry on filming whilst Barry's putting more bits and pieces back in. All there's going to be is a start-up. There's not going to be any revs because the engine's been so disconnected and cold, so we're going to have to just start it up so that we can hear it for the first time. And then tomorrow, when everything else gets put back into the car and the car is roadworthy, and it goes on its first test drive with Barry driving it, then that is when the um, proper sound of the car is going to be heard. And that's when I'm going to be able to drive it for the first time. Fingers crossed, touch wood. And uh, I'm out of breath one because I just ran up the stairs, but I am starting to get very excited, starting to get a bit twitchy, and uh, this is nearly it. We're nearly there, 15 minutes away. Barry needs to put the air filters back on and then connect the battery up, and then it is good for a start-up. Right, I'm setting this camera up to record without my hands, and I'm gonna use this camera to get a different angle of the exhaust system but I kind of want to be in shot like here or there so that we can get a bit of a reaction because this is the first time that it's been started up and this is going to be the first full army trick Gallardo Fir the first and the last army tricks Gallardo are you ready? are you ready? are you ready? I really don't know what to make. I don't know what it's going to be like. There it is. Back of the exhaust valve to the collector, which is not the problem. Yeah. Oh, it looks very similar, actually. You, you get that wrong, obviously. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, it's just not as efficient as it 